In this video, I will give you an overview on various POKE formats used in 5G and their use cases. POKE stands for Physical Uplink Control Channel. POKE is a signal transmitted by UE to the base station to convey information such as Acknowledgement about the received packet in downlink Scheduling request to transmit a new uplink data and channel state report after receiving CSIRS signal from base station. Base station has to decide how many resources have to be allocated for poke signal. That is how many PRBs and time domain symbols have to be allocated for poke, which are conveyed to UE by downlink control information. Additionally, poke resources can also be frequency hopped, in which case base station indicates PRB location of second hop has second hop PRB. The number of resources allocated for poke depends on two factors. One, channel quality. Second, payload size of poke. If the channel quality is good, then less resources are needed for transmission of a given payload size. On the other hand, if the channel quality is bad, then more resources are needed to transmit the same payload. In a different perspective, one can view the scheduled resources must be greater than the payload size plus channel loss. Payload size is the second factor determining the resource allocation of POKE, as seen from this equation. Remember that POKE can contain acknowledgement, scheduling request, and channel state report. Out of these, both acknowledgement and scheduling request need only less number of bits, but channel state report needs more number of bits. So, if UE is sending channel state report as well in POKE, then the payload size has to be large enough to accommodate it. In that case, POKE needs more resources, even though channel is good. Resources requirement for POKE is highest when channel is bad and payload size is high. Each of these scenarios are addressed by different POKE formats. In POKE format 0, POKE is allocated over one PRB in frequency domain and one or two symbols in time domain. Similarly, POKE format 1 is allocated using one PRB over 4 to 14 symbols depending on the channel condition and payload size. POKE format 2 is allocated in 1 to 16 PRBs over 1 or 2 symbols, and POKE format 3 is allocated in 1 to 16 PRBs over 4 to 14 symbols. As a side note, POKE format 0 and 2 use few number of symbols, hence suitable for low latency applications also. Observe that POKE format 2 can be scheduled to only one UE since it occupies a large bandwidth. Therefore, to allow concurrent feedbacks from multiple UEs, 3GPP came up with an additional POKE format called POKE Format 4. POKE Format 4 occupies the same number of resources as POKE Format 2, but utilizes only one PRB. This way multiple UEs can feedback simultaneously using frequency division multiplexing. As a final note, demodulation reference signal, otherwise called DMRS, are present in all POKE formats except POKE format 0. POKE format 0 is a sequence-based signal, so that base station can use a non-coherent receiver. I will explain more about it in another video. POKE format 1 has DMRS signal on every alternative symbols. POKE Format 2 has DMRS signal on every third subcarrier. POKE Formats 3 and 4 have DMRS on symbols which are configurable. In summary, POKE Format is chosen based on the channel quality and payload size. Thank you for watching.